Welcome to the Greenopolis Recycling Kiosk and Recycling System. The Greenopolis Recycling Kiosk is fully interactive and provides your customers with a fun, easy, and rewarding way to recycle. The kiosk can be programmed for cashback value, special coupons, our Greenopolis Rewards program, or a combination. Let's take a quick tour to learn the ins and outs of the Greenopolis Recycling Kiosk. Keeping the Greenopolis Recycling Kiosk clean is easy. Simply spray the machine with non-toxic cleaner, and wipe down. To clean the screens, use the provided screen cleaner and cloth or a damp paper towel. To clean the scanner, use a non-toxic cleaner and wipe. Each unit comes with 10 master passes. The passes let you access the store only functions as you already have to watch this video. They also unlock the screen when the kiosk detects fraud. Generally, you will not have to use this unless it is displayed on the screen. Please be careful not to confuse these with the customer rewards cards. The artwork on your Greenopolis Recycling Kiosk will vary by location. It may be set up to recycle PET plastic, HDPE plastic, glass, or aluminum. The unit is divided into an upper computer compartment and a lower materials compartment. Each kiosk has two external locks one for recycling material access and one for computer access. You will be provided with two sets of keys, one for the outer set of doors and one for the inner set of doors. To open your Greenopolis recycling kiosk, simply insert the key, turn counterclockwise, and pull the door open. To lock your Greenopolis recycling kiosk, insert the key, firmly close the door, and turn to lock. Units should remain locked at all times to ensure customer safety and prevent potential tampering with equipment. Each unit has two separate material chutes covered by protective flaps and one touchscreen which guides customers through a recycling transaction. Below the screen is the barcode scanner, a five-axis scanner designed to scan both round and flat objects. To the left of this is the thermal receipt printer. Both screen and scanner should be cleaned daily for best use. The Greenopolis Recycling Kiosk stores materials with a corrugated plastic bin. Each side contains one bin which will hold one Greenopolis bag. When the bin is full of recyclable material, please remove the Greenopolis bag and replace it with a new one. Bags are oversized to allow for expanded storage. If your Greenopolis recycling kiosk also accepts glass, there will be a cart in place of the bin on the left. The cart slides in and out for easy glass disposal and should hold a cardboard box lined with a Greenopolis bag. When the box is full, Dispose of both the box and the bag. Do not attempt to lift the bag out or dump out the contents. When you are finished, replace with a new box and bag. The touchscreen is integrated into the front door of the computer compartment and should never be removed. To the right and left are the material chutes. Chutes will detect deposits made to the kiosk. Access to the upper chute sensor can be made through the top door. Access to the lower chute sensor can be made from the bottom of the drop. Please try to keep chutes clean. Behind the inner door is the internal computer compartment. The internal computer compartment has two locks on the top and on the bottom. The inner computer compartment uses the inner door keys. To access the printer and refill the paper, you must open the inner compartment with the inner door key. The computer should never be turned off unless serious mechanical issue. Computer runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week for continuous safety monitoring and data transfer. Never turn the computer or power off unless serious mechanical issue. To the left of the computer is the volume control. This tan box controls the volume with two knobs. The top knob is for volume adjustment and the bottom one is for tone. To the left of the volume control is the air conditioning enclosure. In front of the computer is the thermal printer. Because the thermal printer uses no ink, you must be sure that the paper is facing the right direction. To change the paper, simply tilt the printer forward and place a new 80 millimeter roll on the black rod and feed into the printer. Paper must be placed in straight and must come over the top of the roll, not underneath, or images will not print. When you are finished, restore the printer into its original position. The door contains two or three empty rewards cards holders with a gravity feed bar on top. Please make sure these are always full with customer rewards cards 
and the direction of the cards does not matter. When the Greenopolis recycling kiosk is not in use, the video loop will play. To begin a recycling session, customers must first touch the screen. The welcome screen gives customers three options. Customers may begin recycling without becoming a member, they may register for membership, or they can log in once they have already become members. For customers who do not wish to register, they may simply press Recycle Now. Once they press Recycle Now, they will scan each bottle, follow the blinking arrow, and deposit the bottle in the chute. When deposit is finished, they may press the button Done on the screen and print their receipt. For customers who wish to register, they may press the registration button. Registration is not mandatory, but is recommended. To become a member, first scan a rewards card, and then input your email address. The Greenopolis Rewards program is free, and anyone can become a member. Once customers have become members of Greenopolis, they can log in with their rewards cards. Rewards cards will automatically track customer points. Once a customer scans their reward card, they can immediately begin recycling for points. Thanks for watching the Greenopolis Recycling Kiosk training video. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email. We're here to support you.